time to look at another yarn. This is Burnett Boa yarn. A really fun, novelty, eyelash, um, furry, fun yarn. Um, you can get it at the Yarn Inspirations website, www.yarnspirations.com. You see how it has a shimmer, a shine, a glow to it? A nice yarn. Um, it's 100% polyester, 118 meters or 129 yards, 100 grams, three and a half ounces. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. Um, it is. Do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. It's a bulky yarn. You need to use a size nine knitting needle. Five and a half millimeter. You get 14 stitches in a four inch square. If you crochet, use a size K, ten and a half. Hook, six and a half millimeter. You'll get 11 single crochets in a four inch square. Uh, let's see here. There's a free pattern on this to make a scarf. There's a free pattern on this to make a cuff and collar. And you'll find lots of other free patterns on the Yarn Inspirations website. The color of this is Parrot. It is purple and burgundy. Really, really pretty color. And the color of this is Peacock, which is a nice, um, uh, I can't remember what that blue is called. Azure blue? It's just a nice basic blue medium blue and purple. Pretty. And again that one wants peacock. So I'm going to try working with the peacock because it'll be easier to see the stitches. And this yarn is really hard to find the center. So it's kind of hard to work from the center. So what I usually do when I work with this yarn is I just take the label off. And then you'll see this one part that's sticking out all by itself just wound around the outside, that's the outside. So once you find the outside, what I like to do, this is what I like to do, you might want to do it differently. I secure, some people like to work from the outside, but I don't. I like to work from the inside. So I like to wind the outside around and around and around so that I know that's the outside. And I'll leave it just like that, and then I poke my fingers through just like I usually do. But I have to have the label off to do it with this yarn. And then you stretch it out like that. And you stretch this out. And then you reach to the very center, and you just pull out there, like that. And that is the center. And that's the way I like to work. I like to work from the middle. And of course, a whole lot came out because that happens with eyelash yarn. But if I work from with if I work from the center, the yarn doesn't roll around everywhere. That's just the way I like to work. So there we go. I got it ready to roll. Ready to roll. And inside you can see that pattern that they were talking about. So let's try to crochet with it. An eyelash yarn um, has a, a main strand that's straight, and then it has all these little lashes that look just like an eyelash, and that's why it's called an eyelash yarn. And when you knit with it, it makes a real fluffy, furry um, fabric. I like to make um, steering wheel covers with this yarn. I use uh, a worsted weight regular yarn like um, Burnett Super Value or um, Peyton's Canadiana or Peyton's Decor or Karen Simply Soft. I'll let that be my main yarn and I'll hold this as well. So I'll double strand, I'll hold two strands together at the same time and I'll um, knit. And then um, it makes a really nice uh, 
steering wheel cover. It is really hard to see the stitches with this yarn. You have to just kind of know where they are. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> I'm having a hard time feeling them. So it's not easy to crochet with this yarn. Maybe it'll be easier on the second row. Arr, I can't feel where the stitch is. Let me take a look at this thing here. Maybe that's it. Yeah. So the first row is the hardest. After you get the first row going, then it won't be so bad. But I think this is easier to knit. Uh oh, I just went under the whole strand. <laughs> That's what I did a minute ago. There we go. That works. It's Friday. Today's Friday. That's why I'm in a silly mood. I do a lot of these yarn reviews on Fridays for some reason. Spend my weekend with y'all. So, I would not recommend crocheting with this yarn. Because <laughs> it's hard. Hard to see the stitches. I can't. I'm just guessing here. I really am. I'm just absolutely guessing. I have no idea. There you go. But it makes a nice little fluffy, fluffy fabric. So it's good for um, putting an edging around uh, a hat, like at the brim of a hat, or if you made some mittens and you want to have a little fur on the edge, this would be perfect to go around the edge, or. Um, like if you have a sweater and you want to add uh, this fur along the, the edge of it at the bottom or around the collar, that would be real pretty. So now you've seen knot crochets, which I did not enjoy doing. I'm going to try knitting. I think knitting will be a whole lot easier. Yeah. And like I said, I usually use it with another strand of yarn going with it, and it helps to make it more stable. Maybe I'll show you how to do that in a second. Maybe, if I feel like it. <laughs> there. Just make sure you get to the left of the the whole strand and not just the eyelashes. Make sure you get that basic strand that the yarn is made with. There. So now I've got two left. This yarn is very soft and very shiny, so it's fun and pretty, and it feels good. It'll be comfortable against the skin even. So you could use this to um, do an edging on um, a negligee or something if you want, that would be pretty. Or you can make a headband with it for a baby. It would not irritate their skin. takes a little patience to work with this yarn because you have to make sure that you're not skipping a stitch and that you're actually working through the yarn at the right spot. So just take your time with it. Don't be in a hurry. There. 
So you see how the fabric looks exactly the same whether you knit or crochet? Makes a nice fluffy fabric. So I told you that you could strand it with another yarn if you wanted to. So let me show you what I mean by that. Sorry, I got distracted. There's like a little moth in here driving me crazy. <laughs> this is my yarn room. I don't want a moth in it. <laughs> I think it's a moth anyway. Let's see here. I'll use some of this, even though I would not recommend using a light color like this. I'm going to do it just for speed's sake. I'm going to strand some yellow with it at the same time. And you could use the same size yarn, I mean size needles, and you just hold them both at the same time. Maybe it's good that they're contrasting colors so you can see what I'm talking about. And when you double strand a yarn like this, it just makes it easier to work with because the regular yarn gives it some um, sturdiness. A lot of people like to um, double strand yarn when using eyelash like this. They'll put another another yarn with it just to give it more stability. And you could use a really thin yarn as your second yarn if you want. There's that little moth thing. I missed him. Dang it. <laughs> I think they're attracted to my lights in here. Irritating. So, that's how you double strand it. And see how it makes a different looking fabric? So that's how that would work if you put another strand with it. So, that's how this old Burnett Boa yarn works. I hope you enjoy working with it. I love this color. I can't wait to make something with it. So, I'll see you soon in the next video. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Bye.